Episode one. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas even a padlock sweat box. <laughs> Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, well... I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Use L to move Sam. Okay. Okay. Use R to select an object. Press A to interact with it. No comment. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. It's 20 weird. years worth of electric bells take up a surprising amount of space. 20 years worth of electric bells take up a surprising amount of space. I keep accidentally hitting the button thinking they're gonna save more. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Let's see here. Rat hole. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! Have you pimped out your stream on my Discord Duda? Um, no, I don't think I did. I, I know I did on, um, maybe like two places. I didn't even put it on my Twitter because I was just ready to get into this game after not being able to play for so long. And, uh, yeah, it totally slipped my mind to, like, actually tell people about it because, uh, jazz yeah, be slipping. Look at that calendar. Does that calendar have anything to do with it or no? Also, I've got some really big feet. Like, super big. I'm just not noticing that. I guess I can't get over there, so maybe not. Alright, uh, closet door. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is! I do it, but everyone there hates me. Yeah, it's. it's... <laughs> I doubt that's the case. Why would you put cheese in the closet? Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. He did say that. Oh, uh, can I go out? Oh, turn the light switch back on. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Last Donut month's box. donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Hmm. Bowling ball. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Whee! Did I just throw him? When did I do that? I didn't even press a button. I'm so confused. Right, where exactly? I need to find this cheese. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. I think he just throws them to get them out of the way. Um, hmm. Close that. Nope, don't. Oh, I've opened it again. 
not what I intended to do. Jesse James hand. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Nothing else in here seems to be of any um 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. So Oh, well, we've got a gun. Got a boxing glove and a bowling ball. Uh, answering machine. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Light switch, waste basket. No dice. Oh, I, I see now what I'm. One of these days I'm, we're I'm gonna finish places. that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Um, where is this cheese? Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in Why there? Why is there a noose? Where's the oh, rest oh, of the right. noose collection, Max? It's a surprise! Open window. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Something else? It's not like letting me do anything about it. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You bought all cheese? that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. You get less for your money. Hmm. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Should I come back here? Yoo hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Hmm, let's talk to Max again. I kind of think we need to. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. Okay, so if anybody is seeing the cheese and I'm missing it, like, completely let me know. What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. <laughs> I'm back, my Twitch app decided to throw a wanky. Oh no. Well, I'm still looking for the Swiss cheese. I can't. Find it? Does uh, that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Hmm. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. That rat said he specifically wanted Swiss cheese, or he won't give back our phone. Yeah, well, rats are stupid. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Wait, so maybe I can use something I have, like this gun. Press ZR to fire Sam's gun. Press B to put it away. What? Why is it going this way? Okay. Shoot it. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Hey, now I've got Swiss cheese. Okay, 
Yeah, that, that made sense to me earlier. I thought, nah. Now I have to shoot the cheese. Gotta shoot the cheese. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't <laughs> say voila. Nice. Well, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday before Monday comes Yoo -hoo, around. Tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Yeah, yeah, I got your cheese. I got your cheese. Wait a minute. Is it not? Okay. There we go. Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. <laughs> let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Press X to switch between Sam and Max. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp! Go ahead, I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. <laughs> I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Can I go now? Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. Getting nowhere in this investigation. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! <laughs> I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. How the heck did he swallow the phone? Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Just keep, just 
keep checking them for no reason. Let's see, I guess I'm supposed to go this way? Oops! Air car is out there. Hmm. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers! They're like golf carts with teeth! This is our car? I think this is our car. The Soto. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Oh, Already no. planning on it, little buddy. I'll just steer. Press to quit. Oh. Attention fellow drivers, if for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! So what happens if I do that? I guess nothing. Too slow. Hmm. I'm supposed to be going. But I don't. Okay, so we're back where we started. Are we supposed to be going One to way. The town hall? One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting Already metaphors confused. for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. See, King, your, your Wi-Fi always tends to suck during my streams. And as much as I love you, I would need you to fix that, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you, Noisy, for letting everyone know that I'm, uh, I'm failing at streaming today. <laughs> thank you. I will, uh, wait, what, what button was the wrong button again? Going no, I don't remember. Oh wait, ZL. I remember now. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you! Wow. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs! Mm. It's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Oh, you <laughs> Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Uh, that doesn't seem suspicious at all. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. 
How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Mm, but is it though? Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Hmm. Well. Can I go in here? I think I can go in here. Your family may be in danger. I just saw that. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? <laughs> Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? Yes. What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! <laughs> Remain calm. Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order! Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. Yeah. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Uh, okay, we gotta agree with you on that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. <laughs> Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Hmm. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. What is that? Yep, BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon, you'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead, I dare you. Maybe we will. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. Fair enough. All right, a rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. I don't know what else um, I can really ask here. I this think we got it. Repetitive. Okay, anything else? Uh, hmm. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? 
What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Hmm. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Weasels nope. on a stick. Mm, never mind. Nothing for us right now. Okay. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Hmm. What just happened? Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Hmm. Free, huh? What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Yeah. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Well, that's nice. Oops, that's not what what is? I want to ask you again about these videos. Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. I think his brain is stuck. Is yeah. the taser charged up? Yeah, I don't think he's been brainwashed. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Okay. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. Yeah. Something tells me... Free videos. These videos are brainwashing. Do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. It's 
so far, I think we're just gonna be finding things. In I'm um, not really sure. Maybe I guess it's just because it's the first case. We're just kind of. Uh, Remember our old. I said I was sorry. Kind of collecting things as we go right now. I'm curious to see like what the boss battles like, and if there is one gonna be in this episode. Hopefully there will be. This puppy in the VC, even though I don't think I should. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. Yep, knew it. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Tucci. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Alright, so how am I going to do that? Hey, Specs. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly, and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Yep, really bright. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Let's talk some more about your uh, artwork. What about it? Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. So where should I go? Hmm. Hmm. Go that way. Takes me back to my childhood. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Looks like I just got a it turned around. Go in here. I can go in here. Ooh. I'll spill my juice. You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, 
Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Me? Right. You're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Mm-mm. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. <laughs> Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. I think I'm hallucinating, because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How mm -hmm. odd! Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's Ibo video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Mm, no. Who's this Lady Culture person? Brady! Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man on the planet, that's all. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm so disillusioned. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises. So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Mm, no. Enough said. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Hello? Is anybody there? It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same can be said for a lot of our friends. I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Okay. Sam and Max. Here. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? <laughs> What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those yeah. are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about Mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a huh? licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Okay. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! <laughs> Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Right, now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Where's my gun? I guess I better use the boxing glove. Not trying to kill him. Sorry, I peepers. can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist! How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Alright. Boxing gloves not gonna work on him. Bowling ball. I can see you! Please stop doing that! Okay. Is this time for the gun? 
I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Whee! Maybe if I... I don't know, hit him from behind? I oh. can see you! Knock him out. Please stop doing that! Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. <laughs> Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous! I'd never do that. After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself. You're definitely a psycho something. Seriously, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How long have you felt these compulsions? It started when we found the lady in your closet. Ah, that. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new therapy I'm trying. What? He's the nut, not me. Sam, I'm getting confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. This young woman claims that she's Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me! I am you! I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity fracture. One of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. <laughs> no, pick me! Pick me! Look, even if you are civil pandemic, I'm pretty sure locking the lady in the closet is illegal. It's mm -hmm. called isolation therapy. The sensory deprivation channels the patient towards introspection and helps her confront her own identity. Should it bother okay, me that that makes sense? Definitely, little buddy. Uh, You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. How do I right. knock you out? Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Oh, that I looks know? comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? I don't think I can just hit him. Hey, Sybil. Hello! Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Not Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious as well. Oh boy! More gratuitous violence! Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. How am I going to out? It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Hmm. Can anyone see anything besides the boxing glove? Because he's pretty fast. I think I might have to try to slow him down to get him. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Let's close this. Let's walk over here. Might need to leave and come back. Ah, the Tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. <coughs> Can I play with that? Sneezing. No, he drives people crazy. Ooh. Me! 
All right, um, I'm gonna try the boxing glove one more time. I don't think it's going to let me hit him. I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Whee! All right, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. I can knock him out because he's gonna keep running away every time I do. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose, ah, memories. Let's see. Let's see if I can knock this guy out. Oops, maybe not the bowling ball. That that might be might be extra. Fiend rush. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. Like you made down. me mess up. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to slow them down. Um hmm. I'd rather punch other things. I'm trying to punch. To go in. Oh wait, what was that? What was that glowy thing? Who's there? Ja, it's just you. What do we have here? Organ trader? Self-loathing weekly? Oh, let me see that. Hey Bosco, what can I do for you? Have anything. We want to yeah, buy something. To sleep. Ah, what you got your eye on? Or at least slow them down. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I have a tear gas grenade launcher with your name on it. A personalized grenade launcher? You know that's been a dream of mine, Sam! I know, little buddy. You talk about it in your sleep. Nothing for us right now. Okay. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. <laughs> no, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Special on cheese. Only one piece left. You can never have too much cheese. Not ever. Let's see. Whee! Special. Here. Buy one, get one. What a deal. Coffee. I don't think coffee is gonna help. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. If anyone sees a way for me to. Not Joe's. Blow them down. They're mine, not Joe's. Let me know, because I don't see any. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Public restrooms, unholy temples to all things unsanitary. 
I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Hmm. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Maybe I can make him go to the bathroom and then I can stand outside. Children preserve fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Because if not, I don't know how to knock them out. Hmm. 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 Let's try this again. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Let's do this. I'd rather punch other things. Um, now he's gonna come out. I'd rather punch other things. Dang it. Okay, that's not gonna work. I have to figure something out. Hey! That's my box! Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. Caffeine rush! Wow, look at him go. That is one fast munchkin. Oh, gee, guys. Why'd you gotta go and do that? Just passing the time. Oh. Uh, huh. I don't see any way that I can slow them down. I mean, I have to knock them out, but it's not letting me, like, do anything to knock them out. I'm gonna try the bowling ball again. Nah. Nope. It's not gonna let me. Okay. Well. My bowling ball has Lou engraved on it. A boxing glove is just the thing for violence on a crisp evening. Rush! He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. I don't think I need that then. I don't know what to do. Because... Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Use a spray paint? Caffeine rush! He always sees us coming. You made me mess up! Maybe, maybe not. It's not just spray paint, it's an opportunity. I guess I'll hold on to that. Um, it's really weird. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. <laughs> this is a puzzle for sure. Wait a minute, I wonder if I could cover over the graffiti with the spray paint. Maybe that'll do something. Let's try that. This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! 
You messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, Brain Freeze. And now, can I just box my glove on specs? Caffeine Rush. He always he sees us know. coming. I can't. You made me mess up. He's bowling ball. Uh oh. Dang it. Okay, I can't use this. One way. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. What are your plans for tomorrow, King? Anything good? Anything fun? I'm still trying to figure out a way to knock these guys out, and I haven't found a way yet. Um, so far I'm just messing up all his spray paint pictures. This could use a little improvement. I hope your Wi-Fi is better too, by the way. What are you doing? Don't mess with my paintings! Now I've gotta fix it all up. This place okay. used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. Just class, you couldn't stand huh? Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. Alright, let me see if I can ruin another one. Oh no, he fixed that one. Dang, bone it. Now I don't know what to do. Because how am I. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. How do I knock these people out? If I can't get them to stop moving. Totally slightly lost. I know what I need to do, I just don't know how to do it. Impressive credentials. Thank you! Hey, those are mine. I'm Symbol Pandemic. Oh, of course you are, dear. Of course! Okay. Max almost okay. lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Ah, the Tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then! Thanks, you're a big help. How do I do that? Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Let's look around. Great idea! Uh, can I spray paint him in the eyes? I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! I have the strangest urge no, to be decorated. Okay, Fight it, so Sam! What am I doing? Fight it! What am I going to do? I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful! A surefire hit with the average consumer. 
I don't know what to do. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Oh, I need help figuring out how to knock so this guy So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious oh, as well. I know what oh to boy. do. I know We're what to do. For one of Excuse us. I'll say. And I know what to do for one of them. Okay. Go here. Not sure what to do for him. But I think I know what to do. Here. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. And this. I think he missed a spot here. Excuse me. I thought I said not to mess with my painting. Now if we go into the office, he'll be below the window. To a window. Go down there. So let's bowling ball in. No thanks. Seriously. It's not gonna let me. I'd rather punch other things. That doesn't need another coat. It's literally not gonna let me drop a rolling ball on his head. No dice. Okay, there it is. Can you believe we get paid for this? There it is. I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! Uh, it's still not quite right. Mwahahaha! Uh. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go pick him up. So now I have to figure out how to knock the other two out. You'll be out for a good while. Play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me! Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Hey, Sybil. Hello! Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? 
I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious as well. Oh boy! More gratuitous violence! My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. Hmm. Excuse us, we all say. Hmm. 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 I wonder if I can knock him out from in here. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Dang, I can't use the bowling ball anymore. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, Ooh, I know what to that's do. That's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. I think I know how I'm gonna make you this. You okay, work. Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Ooh, fun! Might have figured something out here, Ken. I've got an idea, anyway. Uh-oh! Time out for number one! Got an idea. I'm over here. Hmm. Ooh! Dang it. Okay, so. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. How and to swing it. Hey! That's my box! Oops, sorry. I know I can no knock fun. him out if he pulls a weapon. But how am I going to give him a weapon? Uh-oh! Time out for number one! But wizard would take it, and then where would I be? Seriously. Uh, how do I, I think it's it? the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially I appealing. Give him I take my coffee green, like my men. Thing. If I take my gun out, I'll get hit. Hmm. Ooh. So. How do I swing this? How do I swing this? How do I swing? Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic.
hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. The kid's pretty fast. I don't know if we can arrest him by conventional means. Can we still be mean if we're unconventional? Absolutely, Max. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the howling damned? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aha, I thought I recognized the scent. Be careful not to set fire to anything while we're here. No promises. The kid's pretty fast. I don't know if we can arrest him by conventional means. Can we still be mean if we're unconventional? Absolutely, Max. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. I can't go over there. I can come over here, but I can't do anything. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Cheese. Hey, Bosco. What do you need? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Nothing for us right now. Okay. About the Munchkin terrorism. Yeah, what about it? What does that B-Tads thingamabobber do again? Bosco Tech Automated Defense System? Try to steal something and find out. I got you. I, I think got, we got you. It. Okay, anything else? Yeah. Thanks, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. I got you. Let's try this one more time. Ooh, fun! Uh oh! Time out for number one! Let's go into the grate. The cheese. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look up. on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening All to right, me. So now I have That's to pretty entertaining to either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. He <laughs> actually feels like... yeah, better, but... better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I am, because I don't have I no. I don't want to wake him up. Whee! Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to get the other one. It says knock him out. But I don't think I have anything to slow him down that I saw. Out here was pretty straightforward. In there was not as straightforward. And I had to look around a bit. But in here. In here. Is there anything I can... Look at that spray paint. 
can close the closet door because I don't think that has anything to do with anything. Um, a box of tissues. Very reassuring. Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. I don't have to use the box of club, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to use it. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? I know I need to knock him out. What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. For the last time, no. Hmm. The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. So I'm going to have to blind keepers somehow. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychosis? No, no, Tell you what, I'll give you I a free session it. if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that. I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility. Quickly. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. Later. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go give a tattoo. Let's go cruise okay, for let's try this. Max. Goody! Then we can get the tear gas. Then maybe the tear gas will block him up. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Hello, we're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Hmm. Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. <laughs> Your point being, hmm, what's the fine for a broken tail light? Why isn't it ten thousand dollars? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Uh, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker. Well, that was easy. That was easy. So basically, anytime I need to buy something, I just shoot some nice air light. Anyway, everybody's still knocked out.
Hello. What do we have here? Organ trader? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... We want to buy something. Ah, uh, what you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is hmm. a salad shooter filled with onions. <laughs> but it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. All right, cool. Let's go knock out peepers. Let's go knock him out. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, let's see. Oh, Sybil. Yes. Uh, the other Sybil. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding, it'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff! Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy! Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. Mm. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? 
only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. You can't run away from your problems, you know. Since when? Right, let's go with the others. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227-something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Hello. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Well, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh, no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Sam, he's getting away! the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Oh! Did I get him? Got him. Yes! Again. Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. <clears throat> we just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there! Across the street! Jumping elephant fleas! How devilishly convenient! Thanks. Very convenient. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Hmm, it says here they only treat patients with something called Artificial Personality Disorder. 
Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Oh my. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Trust me, I have experience with these things. Okay. Well, I am going to finish this, but on a different day. Well, thank you guys for checking in on me on my stream. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you all have a great Sunday evening. When we come back to this game, maybe sometime tomorrow night, I am really going to do better at some of these puzzles. I know I can do better. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next stream. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. This one's very locked. Hmm. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Not much of a secret, is it? I wonder why he's playing that exceedingly creepy music out here. Locked. I just noticed that that says vehicles will be stolen. The power hey, of hey. Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. To where we can have her sign those forms. Now that we know where we are. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, mm -hmm. violent reactions to dentistry, mm -hmm. and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Mm. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure, let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. All right, this I time see. I should get it. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Hmm. hmm. What was the 
Free association. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. My, my, look at the time. Subject makes note of the time. Possible scheduling anxieties or childhood trauma. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Word to the wise. Never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Comb. Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? Oh, right, we're freely associating. Sorry. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. <laughs> Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Violent reaction to dentistry. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Are you sure those diplomas are all real? There's no such place as Utah, is there? Subject responds by questioning the credentials of his therapist. How about this word? Drill. Okay. Uh, I use a gun. Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction yeah, to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrists. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. Okay. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. <laughs> Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, oh. let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. Nothing unusual there. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? There was nothing on it, actually. Oh, nothing to shoot for, huh? I see, I see. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Mm. A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud! Hi, King, how are you? Trying to figure out Nothing how to... Nothing unusual there. 
how to swing this. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. Okay, that was you a do. stretch. Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Oh, Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. I was right! As I usually am. Hmm, okay, now I can do the wedding. Cake. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Wait a second. Wedding cake? Your mother? You subconsciously want to marry your own mother! Well, this is a blow. Yeah. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? <laughs> Jumping vehicular homicide, no. Vehicular homicide. Bye. Right, let's get back in the car. Where are we going, Sam? Hi, New. How are you? Back to Brady Culture's home. He is a dog detective, and his oh, name. Okay. We are playing Sam and Max. Save the world. And we are these two wonderful little characters right here. This guy right there is Max, and I am Sam. But yes, he is a dog detective, and my sidekick is a rabbit. Oh, we're gonna save the world. We're going to. Now that I've got APD, I can turn my form in, and they'll let me inside. Hopefully. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Yeah. Once we get justice, we're getting food. Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. What does that you even mean? You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow Who me knows? to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. Naturally. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. Somebody's jelly. I was never offered another role. 
And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Sad. Is it over? I think so. <laughs> so? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. Uh oh, we're about to get hypnotized. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become video delivery man. It's a good thing Max has the brain of a walnut. He's gonna have to save me. What? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy! I told you! But then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to save myself somehow. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I survive. must deliver videos. Oh, the cheese. The cheese. Too far. Okay, I can get it on the way back because it'll knock me out. That I know for sure. It will knock me out. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, don't even try. There we go. I love that part. Remember who you are. Remember. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Hey, how do I get him down? It's just a dream, Sam. Yeah, but how am I gonna get him down? How am I going to get him down? I will be number one in the ratings. Now I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Okay, weird. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? Okay, so let's no! just stop that guy. Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Now, how do I get rid of these other two? What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Ooh. Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great! But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. We got hypnotized new, and now I'm trying to... Trying to snap myself out of it. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. I think I know what to do for the guy. The closet. I will be universally loved by everyone Let's just shoot in the universe. Nope. Dang it. That's not what I meant 
to do. I meant to open the closet door. Okay, hold on. Open it. Why? Done. Brady called. <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> Bullets can't hurt me. Can't you see I'm made of cheese? All right, I'm gonna have to get the rat to do it. I have to get the rat. Weird. You want to name Ev? It's Brady Culture made of cheese? Uh, uh, uh. So if I can't hit him with the rat, I said. It's James. What is this thing? Oh, I can make the rat bigger. There we go. Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. <laughs> oh, it, don't, it doesn't work for that long. Shoot. Okay. One, two, three. Now, quit dick on it. How do I... How do I keep him up? I need him to stay big. I think I'm gonna have to open the door first. And then come here. Dance, dang it, dang puppet, it. dance. Hey, hurry, hurry, hurry. cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. Ooh, what game are you playing, new? Sounds like you're having a good time. All right, so now I have to get um, this one down. Oops, not, I didn't mean to do it. If who's Whoa. a key one? <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that or played it, but if you're having Yay! fun with it, I bet it's awesome. I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on, I'll think of something. Brady's okay. stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, Weird. don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Can I move him over a little bit? I feel like I can move him over. At least I feel like I should be able to. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch. I can't scratch. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great! But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. Hmm. I'll think of something. How am I gonna fix this? How am I going to fix this? Strange. Enigmatic. How am I going to fix this? I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereals. Queer. Can't use Jesse James's hand. Uh, television's kind of out of the question. I am Brady. I wouldn't want to turn Brady back on. Oh, okay, so I can't use the light switch anymore. Um. Hmm. What can I use in here? Bicycle pump. Television. Brady. Brady. Odd. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. I have a hanger. Okay, maybe I can that use the hanger. Work in a dream. Nope, not gonna work. I pulled out my gun. Whoa! Right back where 
I started. Okay, hold on. I'll get you. It is South Park. I don't know how I'm going to get him down. Why, yes, I, this is my real hair. Shooting things did not work. I may not show it much. I don't want to... What else can I coat hanger in here? Yep, there's like nothing I can coat hanger. Brady Culture. Nice name for a country, don't you think? Not even in a dream. Nope, can't do that. Um, hmm. Television. Interesting. Now if I put the coat hanger back on the television, he'll that come back. That doesn't even work in a dream. So, maybe I need to give him the coat hanger? Do you really think that could stop me? Me? Ha! Nope. Um, hmm. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. Um, but how do I? Where am I gonna do this? I should use hollow points for that. Uh, coat rack. Nope, can't shoot the coat rack. Uh, Didn't hurt. <laughs> can't shoot him. Can I shoot this up? Well, there's no possible reason why I need to, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Brady Culture is the man of your dreams. Alright. I uh, can't shoot Max because he's my friend. So I've got to be able to use this coat hanger for something. Wind, not even in a dream. I can't put the coat hanger on the coat rack. And I know the one way sign flips things, but I'm not sure how to get it to stay. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Yeah, you're gonna have to think of something because I'm running out of ideas here. If anybody sees an idea, let me know. <laughs> that doesn't even work in a dream. So there's no way for me to coat hanger this. I will have a space station built in the shape of my head. Cheese is gone. No need for the bicycle pump anymore. Brady culture. It's just a dream, Sam. What do I do? What do I Weird. do? Wait a minute. Can I put the coat hanger on the fan somehow? Say, Brady, who's the gr I wouldn't want to turn Brady back on. Shoot everything except Sam. Yeah, I tried that. I really did try. I don't want to pop him. <laughs> to shoot the light switch that didn't work hey shouldn't you be delivering videos what else can i reasonably shoot like reasonably i tried that but see it doesn't leave it Whee! then he comes Whoa. down gotcha yay i legitimately did try <laughs> that before you came and it did not work i just would like to point that out Brady's stolen Max's body. 
Oh, wait, I've got Max in my pocket. Well, Mr. Culture, I have Pilot a surprise for you. Everything. Really? For me? No! I literally thought I tried that, though. Oh, my. This is Eden. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Hi. And oh, I'm awake. Uh. Oh, no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm <laughs> all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Oh no. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I bow man. <laughs> Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco tech device that stymies hypnosis inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. Fair I've got enough. to find something, quick! Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud! Hmm... What do I have that can block hypnosis? Um... There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. What do I have? That won't help me rescue Max. Well, none of this probably will, but... Alright, let's go back out. Let's go outside. You know who would have loved that? Max. I'm not going back to that asylum until I've got a working defense against that dastardly hypnotic ray. Okay, fair enough. So I don't know where I'm gonna go then. Uh, let's see if she's got anything. Doc. Max is, Max gone. is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. He's not no, imaginary. That megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? Yes. I wasn't was. implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. Okay. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. Okay. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every first? reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. Oh, for goodness sake. I'd love sake. to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Alright, let's look at this. Let's, let's put our minds This diagram looks tags. hokey, but it's the only chance I've got against culture's hypno thingamabobber. That won't help me decipher this diagram. No time to talk. I've got to rescue Max. Okay, so I talk to her anymore.
I know I saw a coat hang hanger, and I have a coat hanger. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. So, what does that look like? A coat hanger, and what else? That won't help me decipher this diagram. This diagram looks hokey, but it's the only chance I've got against culture's hypno thingamabobber. What is that? What is, what is that? Is that a bowl? Do I have something like this? Got the water cooler. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. That makes me miss Max for some unknown reason. Hmm. Hmm. Max, is that you? No, I'm starting to hallucinate. Hey, Bosco. You okay? Yep. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Okay, so he can't help me. I don't really know what I'm looking for because it won't, like, blow the thing up. Max, are you in there? What does this even say? I can't even... You know what? Let me give it... Let me, let me see if I can give it to Bosco. Maybe he'll be able to read it. I don't know. Bosco, take a gander Thank at this. Goodness. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. I've got antenna. it. Antenna. Got it. I've got it. Will a make do antenna do as a make do <laughs> antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. Oh, and yeah. here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Wow. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Cool. Now I can go save Max. I'm doing awesome detective work. I'm gonna change my name to Jazz the Good Detective. Jazz I'm coming, Max. Did I put the helmet on first? Oh, I should. Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady Culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady Culture. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. <laughs> What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. 
What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You mm -hmm. colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you! And this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> oh, great. I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! <laughs> Become yourselves. <laughs> Oops. Attack the dog! Ah. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding! Worship the videotapes! What nonsense! Attack the dog! Ouch! Worship me! No, me, me, worship me! You're my minions, mine! Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog! <laughs> Dang it. What am I supposed to do? Worship Brady Culture. Ha <laughs> ha! Attack the dog! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Hmm. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. Attack the videotapes. Buffoons! Attack the dog! Ow! Attack yourselves! Dolts! Attack the you dog! You got an idea? Ow! Become Brady Culture! <laughs> Do my evil bidding! Worship the videotapes! What nonsense! Attack the dog! Ouch! Uh, no. Let's see. Become yourselves. <laughs> Oops. Attack the dog! <laughs> 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 Worship me some more. Worship me. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. Worship the videotapes. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. Okay. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. Hmm. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Hmm. Can I box him? Caffeine! Caffeine! Ah! Nope, can't box him. Me, me, me! Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Hmm. I have spray paint. What am I supposed to do with this spray paint? That doesn't need another coat. Uh, can I that spray doesn't him? need another coat. Nope. Uh, hmm. 
What am I going to do? Me, me, for? me! You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thing in Medudo won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up! They do so! I force them to. Take yourself, take the videotapes. I think I can. If I say attack me, it's not gonna work right. Attack yourselves. No, me! Attack me! Okay, me, I me, got me. him. I got him. Yes! Oops! No, wait, I mean. <laughs> I got him. Smart hey, move, Sam. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. Uh-oh. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. <laughs> 